605, it is one of the busiest travel days of the year, and we are helping you time your trip, whether you're flying or driving. Evan Koslov joins us live at Dulles Airport with more on what we can expect today. Good morning to you, Evan. Hey, guys. Yeah, here at Dulles right now, and uh, if you take a look behind me, it's nothing spectacular. Yeah, there's the early morning crowds, but nothing too crazy just yet. We want to bring up something real quickly. This is day two of a strike that we've been telling you guys about all week. It's by Huntley workers, the folks, uh, that, you know, the wheelchair attendants, they might be carrying in your bags, cabin cleaners, cleaning the, the facility. They do a lot here for certain terminals. Uh, and so some of them are on strike. But I just spoke with a supervisor who tells me that only some of the workers are making the decision to strike. So they still have people here. They bring in extra staff. So in his words and in his mind, things are running okay this morning. And just by looking around at this early hour, it doesn't look like your service can be interrupted. So that's that's some good news right right there. Uh, let's quickly show you the rally they had yesterday. Uh, they're estimating some 200 workers or so may have walked out from all this. They're calling on two things: the right to unionize and higher wages. Take a listen to what uh, one union leader had to say about this. A lot of these workers have to work two and two and three jobs. Right here at the airport, a lot of these workers have to sleep upright here at the airport. Uh, and we don't think that's fair. When workers decide to uh, protest and ask the company to raise their wages, uh, what they do is in the past they've terminated people uh, illegally uh, for doing that. And that's, uh, that's not just wrong, it's un-American and it's also illegal. Okay, so speaking there was a union leader. The visuals you saw, those people are workers for Huntley right there. Many other workers, though, from Huntley are here today. Let's switch gears and talk about travel as a whole, though. Uh, let's talk about those on the roads, because that's most of us. Uh, 2.6 million people in this area are expected to travel 50 miles or more for the holiday week. And of that, 2.4 million are actually driving. Uh, so 91% of us are going to be heading out of time. A lot of people. And the question is, when is the worst time? When should you absolutely not leave your house and go for a drive? AAA says that is 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. today. So I'm sure many of you guys don't really have a choice, but you know, if you can, avoid the roads at that time. Uh, meanwhile, here at the airport, as I mentioned before, nothing spectacular. The lines aren't too long. Over there is Delta, which flies into Atlanta, of course, which had all that nonsense earlier in the week. Uh, looks like right now things are running smoothly, and that board says all flights are running on time. From Dulles to Seven Kozlov, WUSA 9, I'll yeah. send it back to you guys. It looks pretty 